Hi, so here we have a problem in which we have to find the area of the shaded region and here we have a semicircle and in that semicircle we have these two squares and we have to find the area of this shaded region or you can say we have to find the area of this rectangle whose one side if I assume is x then its length is equal to 2x or you can say you have to find the area of these two squares. This problem was actually circulated in a group of IIT alumni and IITs are considered as the best engineering colleges in India and the entrance exam to IITs is one of the toughest exam a teenager can ever write in the world. So now let's see how to solve this problem. So I have already noted down the diameter of the semicircle as 10 then the radius of the circle will be equal to 5 units and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to complete this circle. So it will look something like this and this is the center of the circle. So now I have named few points. This center I have named as O and then I have named these points as A, B, C, D and E. A, B over here is a chord and if I draw a perpendicular from point O till A, B and call this point as F then this O, F will be perpendicular to A, B and this point F will actually be a midpoint of A, B and this O, F will also be perpendicular on D, E because D, E and A, B are parallel or you can say if I complete this chord in this direction and call this point as point G this point if I call it as F dash, F dash will be the midpoint of DG or GE will be equal to the one side of this square or you can say you can actually draw one more square like this which will be congruent to this older square and here this diagonal AD which is also the chord of the circle will actually subtend an angle equal to 45 degrees at the circumference of the circle. So here this chord AD which is the diagonal of this rectangle ACDE is actually subtending an angle equal to 45 degrees at the circumference of the circle and this will be 45 degrees because the diagonal of the square makes an angle equal to 45 degrees with its sides. So since this is 45 degrees this chord AD will actually subtend an angle equal to 90 degrees at the center of the circle. That means this will be a 90 degrees or you can say AOD is actually a 90 degree. So this AD is actually the hypotenuse for the two right angle triangles one AED which is this triangle and another triangle is triangle AOD which is this triangle. So if AE is equal to X then ED will be equal to 2X and the area of rectangle ACDE will be equal to X multiplied by 2X or equal to 2X square. And if I take triangle AED, this triangle here AD square is actually equal to X square plus 2X whole square or equal to 5X to the power 2. And from triangle AOD, that means this triangle AD square is actually equal to AO square plus OD square and both AO and OD are the radii of the circle. So this will be equal to 5 square plus 5 square or equal to 50. So 5x square is equal to 50 or x square is equal to 10. So 2 times x square will be equal to 10 multiplied by 2 or 20 square units. So this is the area of this rectangle. So this is one way of solving the problem and there is one more way of solving the problem and that solution was actually circulating in the group so now let's try and solve using that method also. So this drawing we got by using the symmetry of the circle across this diameter and similarly if I use the symmetry across this diameter of the circle I will get this drawing and similarly the symmetry will follow across this diagonal also and then we will get a complete square which will look something like where this is the diameter of the circle so this length is equal to 10 units and now again here we have a right angle triangle and if I name it as a b and c a b square is equal to x square plus 3x whole square where x is the length of each side of this square and since a b is the diameter of the circle a b square will be square of 10 and this is equal to x square plus 9x square or you can say 100 is equal to 10 times x square or x square is equal to 
10. So the area of each square is actually equal to 10 square units. So the area of two such squares will be equal to 10 plus 10 or 20 square units. And this was the solution which was getting circulated in the group. So I have shared both the solutions with you. So that's all for this video and for many many more interesting videos keep watching my smart subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.